Hello and welcome to another update video about gold. Yeah, we've seen quite a bit of a pullback today. I think that gives us at least some clarity. Um, you know, with regards to what I said yesterday to you, I showed you two wave counts, two bullish ones, okay? One in which we should completely escalate higher here in wave five of one. And the other one just assumed that we were still in wave three. And I think this is what's playing out. So let's just, I think that support area came at the right time yesterday. Let's just shift things across and then we talk about this wave count because the um, market has given us um, a bit of clarity today, I think. I mean, it could always be something more bearish, but as long as it's holding that support level at 1949, I would still focus on um, higher. Yeah, that's why I gave you that level yesterday, explained that against 1949, I would still focus on higher and that we get um still a fifth wave but uh, that will that will show in this area here that will show in this area but as i explained to you um there's probably not much action at the moment that is needed from traders the time for example to add to positions was down here for example um and now what we want to do is just to wait if we get five waves up if we get five waves up then a three wave pullback should follow in a wave two with then a third wave rally to follow. And this is the trade that most people would want to participate in. Um, at the moment, it's literally like, okay, does it fail after three waves? Then yes, you know, if it breaks below 1949, we get another low. And we would need to look at where this lands then, probably rather lower here in the box. Or if we get five waves up, we can be more confident that it's holding a higher low in a wave two. So it's literally just now, it's just a bit of wait and see. It's not about predicting anything. It's about letting the market tell us if the price has really indeed bottomed here. We will really only know that once we have five waves up, three waves down. If we don't even get clear five waves up, then it increases the risk that we will see another low. Okay, that's hopefully clear. Now, what we want to see at the moment here, I mean, you can still trade this, but I would then use the 1949 level as support. Um, just note that because we only have three waves up, it's not a high probability setup. Okay. Um, yeah. And, um, did it, and I would say, you know, in this third wave, we then had, um, five waves up one, two, three, four, five. I think I showed you that yesterday and we would then like to see a fifth wave up and we can calculate a target for the fifth wave as soon as I have a low in place for wave four. Just be aware that fifth waves in commodities, they like to extend. And that is why the fifth wave for gold could be quite aggressive. Um, what concerned me a little bit was silver. I think I mentioned that in the silver update, that silver was less clear than gold. Gold at least reached all the upside targets that we defined so far. Um, that was the target for the third wave that was reached. And also the pullback zone was reached and we rallied higher. And now we are in the next pullback zone. And let's see if we get that fifth wave as well. Um, I mean, if I give you just an idea where this could land, I mean, 2,075, 2,110, those would be levels to watch for a fifth wave. But I can specify that further once I see that fourth wave here um, getting completed. Okay, at the moment, we literally just have a pullback, but it could be, I mean, the fourth wave should be a healthy fourth wave, ideally stretches out a little bit sideways, goes a little lower, yeah, 1949, 1966. Um, our additional supports, it would be a three wave move. I mean, it's already three waves down. Can I rule out that wave four is already finished? No, but looking at this wave degree, it might go a little lower, a bit long, longer sideways. Um, it certainly still has space. It, let's say it could quite comfortably stretch out a little lower if it needs to. Um, yeah, and then we are going to see if it can form those five waves up that we need before we get a pullback because if not then yeah as i said you know this is not a very clear five wave move up we always look for clarity in charts and once we have five then we get three down and that would typically land i mean again i cannot give you a support area here yet um, without having five waves up so it might come into the region of the previous wave two you know wave two pullbacks in gold can be quite shallow so i would prepare for that but at the moment the view is and that's they are the parameters we need to be watching probably next couple of days, this support box. And then when can we say the rally is over, the pullback is over? Well, it would have to be a break above the last swing high, 
really. So it would be a break above 2017. Then we can say if it's a sustained break that yeah, wave five has started. So literally just a quick update about gold because we had that pullback into the support zone. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. If you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, intraday updates and regular updates about stocks, then check out our stocks and S&P 500 service. You can find the link to that in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.